This is purportedly the most haunted house in Guadalajara, Mexico. YouTuber Ricky Velasquez dares to enter, but he will soon regret it. As he tours the place, he spots this. Una noche loca. Las personas que estuvieron en esa transmisión. Perro, ¿qué es eso? No mames. Did you see that figure? As he continues throughout the home, it seems to be stalking him. Wait, wait. ¿Quién eres? Wherever he goes, it follows. Pues muéstrate, no seas cobarde. Muéstrate, muéstrate, muéstrate. A la bestia, no mam. No, 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 tranquilo, tranquilo, tranquilo. Is someone there? Ricky keeps hearing noises, like someone is just out of sight. After hearing humming during a spirit box session, things get wild. No, 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 no. Whoa. No, 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 no. I think this home is definitely haunted, but by what? I'm not so sure. It's 3 in the morning when a YouTuber named QTube hears a knock at his door. He begins recording for his own safety and debates whether or not he should even look outside. Whoever knocked must have immediately ran away and left a package for him to open, which he soon does. I was half expecting some kind of rigged device or something like that, but what's really inside is just as weird. If this video is to be believed, then someone woke up QTube in the middle of the night for no other reason than to give him a pizza box with a gummy pizza inside. It's either the work of someone with a bizarre sense of humor or else totally insane. The whole event leaves QTube cautious and confused. Prank or not, he doesn't exactly seem thrilled about being the target of someone in the middle of the night, and I can't say I blame him. Let me know if you think this was just a harmless joke, or if the next home delivery is going to be much worse. YouTube team Mackie and Amanda have a haunted doll, and they believe an evil spirit is possessing it. The interpreter receives a message from the doll. He thinks you're very soft and sweet. Mackie hears a voice while they continue their communications. Yes, confirm. <laughs> it's Alan just hear that? Is it like a guy what he said something like Durr. Yes, confirm. <laughs> yes, confirm. They hear a noise and a whisper. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. yeah I did. Are the new ones here tonight? Yeah. And while they're talking, another whisper is heard. Oh, she loves that. Oh, it's got like a little like. Oh, she loves that. Oh, it's got like a little like. The spirit then starts communicating via REM pod. The camera just turned. Oh my! Off. And then immediately that. Oh, we're going to town now. Somebody turned the camera off, and now the REM pod's going crazy. And it continues with the cat ball. The cat ball just turned on. And we had asked Katie. Katie said she wouldn't, but that's not her doll. Yeah, that's yeah. the older mm -hmm. woman's doll. Mm -hmm. Emma. Although I didn't see any evil in this spirit, that doesn't mean it isn't there. But it definitely seems to me that there's something paranormal afoot here. In a small town in Texas, a church fitness class had begun one April morning in 2016. The attendees walked in only to find that someone had taken the instructor's life. 45-year-old Terry Bevers was found on the floor. There were no leads except for this security footage. You may think the person in this footage is someone here to help, but it's actually worn by whoever committed this terrible act. The culprit wore a full SWAT uniform, going room to room in the church, possibly looking for more victims. To this day, this person's identity remains a mystery. A man in Russia goes exploring a field by the side of the road with a metal detector and detects a ghost instead. 
привидение. И еще так светится именно, как фосфор, таким зеленым, таким классно, яскраво. Off in the distance is what he suspects could be the apparition of a roadside phantom. It's pretty bizarre, but this image taken at 7 minutes and 11 seconds looks more like a roadside marker than anything paranormal. The only problem is I have no idea what the road signs look like in Russia. So tell me if this is one of them or not, then we'll all know if this video is paranormal. There's nothing else like it on this whole stretch of road, and he's never seen it before. So maybe he's making it up, or maybe it's something weird after all. A woman is practicing a presentation while her friend films, but they both become distracted by the poltergeist in the room. TikToker Real Scary Video shares this footage. One, two, three, go. One, okay, now? now that I have introduced myself to the patient, um, verify the clients. Oh, that, that. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, explain the procedure. First, the light flickers. Verify the client's identity and provide. Oh no, it's on. Sige, pa na sina, sina, sina. Then something disturbs the closet. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient. <laughs> well, we can't see what made the noise. I'm pretty sure whatever it was lost its patience. Talk about a non-supportive ghost. Oh no, it's on. Sige, pa na yung pasig na, sige na, sige na, sige na. O, tara, tara, tara. One, two, three, go. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, uh, now that I have introduced myself to the patient, a YouTuber named Run Gun Griff is a drone enthusiast who explores a lot of exotic locations on his channel. Most of his videos are taken on tropical islands, but this one was shot at a hard to find rural spot that he simply describes as being in the middle of nowhere. As his drone flies high, you can see that Run Gun Griff and his friend are standing in the middle of a huge field of crops that's covered in a series of strange markings. The symbols themselves are perfectly symmetrical and extremely precise in their geometry. Their designs look strikingly identical and appear to have no noticeable differences, a sign that it was not made by humans. I suppose that it would be possible to do this with farm equipment, but farmers have little reason to vandalize their own field and since there's absolutely no flaws in the design, I think that there is a strong possibility that this was made by something extraterrestrial. Let me know if you think that these crop circles are man-made or extraterrestrial in nature, and if you recognize any of these symbols from any literature, movie, or video games, then I'd definitely like to know where they are from. A YouTuber named Ola Bible lives in the middle of the forest in Oregon, far away from civilization. So when he hears noises outside of his house late at night, he curiously pokes around his backyard with a camera to find the source. It isn't long before he comes across an object that looks out of place. It looks like it could just be a rock or something, but he's memorized this area well enough to know it's foreign in nature. He zooms in. Then he says something out loud to himself and draws unwanted attention. Oh my God. <laughs> A thin humanoid creature cranes its impossibly long neck in his direction. Look closely and you'll even see a surprised expression on its face, almost as if it's been caught doing something secretive. I can't tell if it's feasting on an animal or maybe even burying something in the ground. He spins around and runs away before we get a chance to figure out what it's doing for sure. I guess the video could just be special effects but I can't tell for certain. Maybe a follow up video taken during the day would give us more conclusive evidence. While the front of a restaurant is running like clockwork, behind the scenes, things are heating up. That's what happened to Zach Burrell, who was working at McDonald's in 2011 when a grease fire occurred. He published his video of heroism in October of 2011, noting that it was him putting the grease fire out and that he was poorly trained to do so. In the beginning of the video, you can see the flames spring up in the cooker. Then there's a mass panic in the kitchen 
and workers start racing around, trying to figure out what to do. Every effort they make seems to throw heat on the flames, lighting it up more. Zack explains what happened. First, I pulled the wrong mounted extinguisher, and the grill was covered in liquid. Then one of my crew members tried putting an oily lid on top of the vat to cut the oxygen off. It fell in sideways and the flames doubled. In the end, Zack grabbed a fire extinguisher to douse the flames, but not before the entire kitchen filled with smoke, leaving a dramatic scene that could have led to lives being lost. Pretty crazy, he writes, but at least I saved the store. As these dudes were wandering in the darkness, they encountered something they never expected. Okay. We're gonna go! Climbing on the gate, it looks like a tiny extraterrestrial humanoid, and apparently it gives chase. Dude, he's booking it! Go! Shell, no, go! Dude, go! Oh my gosh! Dude! He's right there! Dude, get your my light's not working. The humanoid creature is catching up to them. Dude. Stupid. Why would you stink? We gotta go. We gotta go. What is that? I'm not entirely sure, but let's hope it didn't get them. A person named Khorn1234 is not sure what to make of this video and would like our help to investigate what could be paranormal lights in the woods at night. It starts off as one tiny red light at 2 minutes and 28 seconds, and soon the entire surrounding forest is lit up by them. Strange flashing lights suspended in midair. He looks the other way and across a field sees more of them. It's not houses and it's not towers, he says and I agree. They seem to spontaneously appear and disappear without reason. It kind of looks like Christmas lights except this was taken in the middle of July. So what are they? Do you have the common care to tame a snake? This shocking footage will make you question your own bravery. The video shows a man grabbing a thick snake with his bare hands. The snake looks around 10 feet long and arches toward the man when he pulls back. As the snake appears to be aggressive, the man holds up one arm. He is apparently trying to grab a hold of the snake close to its head, which he manages to do upon his second attempt. He takes the snake with both hands in a tight grip as it opens its mouth wide, baring its fangs. Then, as if with no care in the world, the man walks the snake over to some other workers who pick up its tail and are taking photos with the beast. The footage ends there, but judging by this man's professionalism, I think we can safely guess the snake was properly removed to a more secure location. The zombie road in Missouri is purportedly haunted, and YouTube team Soul Searching is investigating it themselves. As they start on the trail, they receive a message from the beyond. I know that's kind of weird that it said seeds because that's usually my thing. I bring seeds. It's asking for the seeds and we don't have them. It's going to be. Angry. I know because I switched from my camera bag <laughs> too. The YouTuber leaves her camera on while walking and the audio captures this. A cannon from the Civil War. Could be. Yeah. There's Civil War ghost on this room. That really did sound like a cannon to me. Later, they capture an EVP on their digital recorder. That box, that white noise. Can you tell us your name? It's trying, but the Faraday can't. <laughs> can you tell it? Can you tell it? Can you tell? They believe it sounds like I am here, but I'm not sure if I hear that. However, it does sound to me like a whisper. As they continue, another unexplained noise is captured. This voice that they hear sounds rather mechanical. Could it simply be the sound of one of their devices? Well, I can't say for sure that Zombie Road is haunted based on these findings. The ghostly cannon strikes me as a true Civil War curse. 
Sophie Dosi is a talented contortionist with a twisted sense of humor, so to speak. Here, she does a crab walk backwards at top speeds with her head barely hanging above the floor. This is a really creative, ingenious way to scare people that I've never seen done before, but I can't help but think it's a little dangerous too. I mean, if she steps on her hair while walking like this, her neck could snap all the way back. Maybe I'm just exaggerating, but I think I see it almost happen multiple times as she races down the aisle, which adds a whole new level of fear to the overall situation. A few days ago, strange sounds started coming from an old shower stall in this house that Alejandro has not used in years. He wasn't sure if it was rats or something, so he went up there with a camera and this scary sighting is what's been caught on video. Twenty seconds after showing us nothing was in the shower, this ghostly figure presses against the glass, flies upwards and disappears. This almost has to be CGI because there are absolutely no editing cuts and the way they fade away doesn't look like somebody simply stepping away from the glass. He reinvestigates and the shower is just as empty as before. This YouTuber is trapped. The hungry beast shreds his backpack and smells more supplies up this tree. All it needs to do is get through this pesky human first. Hey there. Down there. Amazingly, the bear does as told and goes back down upon the hunter's request. I guess seeing a human talk up close like that must have freaked it out because the animal runs away. Before chancing a look back at the backpack laying on the ground and deciding against it, of all the weird things I've ever seen caught on camera in the woods, this has to be one of the weirdest and scariest videos ever because there's no doubt it's absolutely real. Smallmouth Crush is making a fishing video on the Potomac River near Washington, D.C. He's drifting by when further down the riverbank something strange catches his eye. A head is sticking out of the water, long black hair, her back is to him. He looks at the head for a long time, unable to mentally process what he's seeing and not sure what to do. He gives the object a poke just to make sure it is what he fears. It has a face and it is exactly what he's afraid of. I think we are all thinking it's the same thing, especially from this distance. But when he pokes at it some more, an artificial neck joint pops free from the mud. This is a mannequin head, not a real one. Dude, what is happening? Look at this thing. This is nasty. Not finding a body is a relief, I suppose, but it also begs the question as to why anyone would take a blindfolded mannequin head out into the woods in the first place. I've heard of people simulating their demented desires onto mannequins before moving on to the real thing as part of their transformation into a full-blown psycho. There's a lot of creepy people out there, I guess. And to further prove my point, he looks up to find something even more sickening nearby. Look at that freaky thing. I'm out of here. It looks like somebody has been using this spot to do some pretty twisted fantasizing. And as he speeds away, I can't help but wonder what if that's not a doll. In 2014, a YouTuber was finishing up a hiking trail in Fernie, British Columbia when an unwanted intruder decided to make him its intended prey. That is a mountain lion. And he's stalking me. A wild mountain lion emerges from the tall brush with its head low to the ground, ready to pounce. The man instinctively turns and runs, but then he regains his wits and stops to confront his aggressor. I am much bigger than you. I'm way bigger than you. 
The young mountain lion seems surprised at this bold reaction, but then it quickly blends into its surroundings again and regains the upper hand. Eventually, it's spotted again a few more times as it prowls along the trail close by. The two eventually end up staring at each other from a short distance. As the showdown comes to a tense close, the mountain lion seems unsure and eventually wanders off. It may have lost for now, but in another year or two, I'm sure the animal would have undoubtedly grown into a much larger threat. A YouTuber named Tret uploaded the scary moment in Russia that has people wondering what it could possibly be. He looks down a boarded up well in the middle of the forest and sees a scary face in the dark. This could be a weird creature sighting or a ghost sighting depending on how you look at it. To be more realistic though, I see the head of a turtle. The blue eyes are weird though, so maybe that's not it at all. A YouTuber named Adam the Woo is checking out an old abandoned barbecue restaurant in the middle of the California desert and picks up strange occurrences that are possibly supernatural. There are a lot of moments in this video that sound like voices far away, saying words too quietly to understand, like here for example. There's also a lot of electrical disturbances that happen for pretty much no reason. At one point, Adam calls out into what should be an otherwise empty room and gets the faintest of replies. Hello? Listen again and tell me if you hear it. A lot of people think that this was a female voice saying hello, but it sounds too far away to tell for sure. Perhaps most unsettling of all, however, is what could be a pair of feet in the stall of this busted out bathroom. This footage was supposedly taken by a 911 caller and later edited to include his actual 911 call. The caller starts out by saying he's hearing some strange noises in his basement. And this ghostly basement sighting is what supposedly caused him to make the call. Look closely, and you will see that this does appear to be a shadowy figure from another time period. I personally see someone from the Victorian age, perhaps a woman with a large dress and oversized hat. He runs upstairs and makes the call after seeing her. Then again, if this video was real, then I don't know how he would have gotten a copy of his own 911 call. I could be wrong, but I think those are private records and generally unobtainable. There are also sound effects that are obviously put over the video once he sees the ghost, so maybe this is just a prank after all. It could be computer effects or even a mannequin. And we are hurrying. Luckily our house has sprinklers. When it was built, we've only been in this house for a week and a half. But we're getting everything that's important. And we're getting it out of here. This scary GoPro video sounds like the final moments of a family fleeting in terror from their haunted home, but that's not what's happening. Midnight is when Tyson and Haley get a phone call that they have to evacuate fast, not from something paranormal, but a situation just as terrifying nonetheless. Flames are tearing up the mountainside and heading towards their home. Now they have to keep their oldest son occupied and unafraid while not panicking themselves trying their best to navigate around closed roads and other hazards. You can tell the father wants to scream, but he doesn't want to freak their kids out. So this is how he talks. That's not good at all, huh, buddy? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I want to go up there. What will happen if the fire comes to our car? We would turn around and drive away. He's definitely a good father for not scaring his children, but the reality of the situation is, at least from what I can tell, that they are low on gas and stuck in traffic without much control over where they go next. 
police are frantically trying to direct traffic and stay in communication with the fire department to guide cars away from the blazing inferno, and it isn't looking too good for them. Eventually, they break away and find a moment to collect themselves at the gas pump. As they watch the inferno in the distance, adrenaline finally wearing off, it occurs to them just how close to being goners they really were. I've never had that feeling or adrenaline rush before. That was crazy. I'm really glad this wasn't the family's final moments caught on GoPro and hope they have some good memories ahead to help balance out this horrifying event. As we all know, ghosts can walk through walls. Here is video proof, published by Full Horror Dose in April of 2022. This scary footage was captured on CCTV in the hall of what appears to be a school building. In one of the cameras, a woman is seen in the hallway. She turns toward the wall and after pausing for a moment, walks right on through it. On closer inspection, there doesn't appear to be a doorway, elevator, or any entry here to explain her seeming disappearance. The way she moves so tentatively is also strange, and her figure vanishes right into the flat surface. What do you think? Is this a real ghost in action? If not that or clever editing, what could possibly be going on in this building? This CCTV footage comes from the London Dungeon, a famous tourist attraction in England that's rumored to be haunted. An employee is tending to their duties in the laundry room all alone. When they go to open the door to the washing machine, a hand reaches out and makes a grab at them. Weirder still is how the camera switches to static merely moments before this happens. Since technological malfunctions can often indicate the presence of the paranormal, and also given the location, I think this strange video could definitely be real, and if so, it's something that this employee will never be able to unsee. A man in New Zealand is stopped at a gas station when this orange light rips by overhead in a perfect arc. It was accompanied by a high-pitched sound that broke the audio on his camera and hurt his ears. I don't think that it's car headlights because it approaches from a weird angle, plus the way it moves is far from normal. This video is creepy and I'll get to the scary part, but first I want to know what language is being spoken and what they are saying here. I'm guessing he's asking who's there. Unfortunately for him, this strange sighting is his answer. A person comes walking out backwards in a painfully high arch that even a gymnast would struggle to achieve. It's like a scene out of one of the exorcism movies, but is it real? It almost seems too weird to be real, but how many people do you know who can move like that? Then again, they are at a gym, so maybe they are in good shape and one of his more athletic friends was able to fake this back-breaking pose. This video of a shaky, alien-looking pod looks like it really shouldn't exist anywhere on planet Earth, let alone some random person's basement. The way it moves from left to right without being touched makes me think that some strange life form is about to burst forth. Most of the comments agree that this could be some sort of egg or cocoon with a foreign host inside. Note how strange furry hair seems to protrude from sections of its hardened exterior, further indicating that this is in fact a living organism of some kind. The video ends before we can see what hatches. But whatever it is, I just hope it isn't something that is harmful. The Monbury Rings in Dorchester, UK have a terrible history. YouTube team CVS Paranormal investigates this haunted place, and what they hear is disturbing. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something. To me, it sounded like a mix of voices and pigs grunting in the darkness shortly after they hear footsteps in the grass nearby. Ooh, what? Sure I then this creepy moan is heard. If you are walking, 
Did you hear that? As one of the team feels something touch your head, children's laughter is heard in the background. It's felt like something just touched my hair, my head. They hear a rustling in the trees that they don't believe is the wind. Like come from over there just now. In the trees. Are you over by the trees? Can you hear it? It does look like there's a breeze though, and it could just be an animal settling, but this next noise does not sound natural. What was that? I don't know. And then again, they hear footsteps. I... Yeah. Is something stalking them in the darkness? The humming they hear suggests so. Oh, it's really going now. While I don't hear the humming sound in the end myself, I can hear all of the other unsettling noises in this clip. To me, the most disturbing part was the pig grunting and voices heard in the very beginning. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something. What do you think? A family is being frightened by a ghostly apparition somewhere in Mexico, and this is the moment they finally see it. So, ¿qué es? Se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió. Espérate, cálmate, cálmate, cálmate. Hay alguien ahí. The side of someone's face peers out from within the closet, but when they go to check where it just was, it's gone. There definitely was something in there, because you can see its face push up against a shirt. However, at 36 seconds, there may be an editing cut when the camera is covered. This could be where they stop recording, let him out the closet, and start recording again. This clown puppet seems to be sitting up all on its own, though I guess somebody could be propping it up from behind. If it really is somebody off camera though, then please explain to me how this bright orange orb latches onto the clown's head three seconds into the video. The orb is just hovering in the pitch black darkness for a full three seconds, and then it attaches to the doll's hair as soon as it starts to move. That's too much of a coincidence for me. So do you think we're witnessing a spirit possess an inanimate object, special effects, or what? Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hunting the Haunted, this redditor wrote, The Haunted Frank Lloyd Wright House in Florida. This place has always been active. Check out the full video over on our YouTube channel. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. I just wanted an orb fly by toward you. What was that? I heard something. That sounded like it was in the kitchen. That sounded like it was on top of the roof. Guys, there is something here with us. We are not alone. We can hear you walking. What is that? What is that? I heard something. While it certainly seems like the spirits that reside in this home are active, I guess it really makes no difference who the architect of a home is in the eyes of a spirit. My theory is the spirits here are trying to scare this paranormal team into never returning again. A YouTuber named Lanzo has a haunted ranch that he is afraid to visit. He knows at least one of the buildings is haunted because his uncle told him about a full conversation that he had with a strange man who said that he was a demon. and then promptly and mysteriously disappeared right in front of him on the spot. Ever since then, the one-acre property has been overrun with paranormal activity. Just from now, from that day and now on, it's always been like creepy for me and my cousins to come here at night. I I heard something that was scared. I... Do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? He hears scary whispering voices haunting the woods nearby and quickly shakes the thought away. But I think I might have heard the whispering voices too, followed by other scary noises that may or may not have been the wind. 
It's 3 a.m. and as they approach, they can feel the paranormal energy feeding off of their fear. Their equipment refuses to focus on one paranormal hotspot and they know it's because a ghost is haunting them. Right there. What the f you guys? And I'm gonna impact. Their night vision and motion tracking paranormal equipment detect a super tall figure standing in the same place they felt was haunted, and it's making the dogs bark like crazy too. The animals are familiar with Lanzo, so I think these pets are having a ghost sighting of their own. There's a figure right there. The dogs aren't even facing them, further evidence that something paranormal has their interest. Something's clearly back there. And even the horse seems to freak out as well. I feel sorry for all of the terrifying encounters that these poor animals probably have on a regular basis living on this haunted ranch. The horse begins moving frantically at 6 minutes and 58 seconds, and then they detect a ghost trying to climb some firewood to hitch a ride. The panicking animal sways back and forth to get away from the apparition, but to no avail. I don't know if this horse is freaking out over a ghost ghost sighting, or if it's just asking them for some food. This is a 3 a.m. video though, so I don't think the horse should be hungry. We noticed that there was a figure that was dancing with the horse like next to it. Like literally right there, you guys, like I'm getting the chills. I'm terrified right now. Behind this gate is where the dogs were barking at something, and that's when they get really scared because their paranormal equipment goes off again. I literally can't feel my feet, like. It's starting to detect something. Dude. They need to go around the building to see what's on the other side of the gate, but they hardly get a few steps before their camera goes out of focus. Over here. We're and in the woods, they hear a really weird voice, like laughter. When they consult their paranormal equipment for a translation, it interprets only one word. If there's anyone here with us, give us a sign. Goodbye. Oh my God, no. And it utters this phrase. A single ghost orb flies into them. I wouldn't be surprised if this ranch was haunted by skinwalkers after all. Skinwalkers are paranormal tricksters who will often haunt ranches built on ancient prairie lands. So with this in mind, a ghost sighting on this ranch would make sense. If you've been watching Scary Countdowns for a while, then you've probably come across this video at some point. What other channels don't bother to tell you is that there's an additional two months worth of evidence to analyze. But first, let me start with this viral video of their fateful first encounter. On May 3rd, 2011, a strange man who they've never seen before randomly stands outside of the apartment of a YouTuber named Andrew J. Meese. Andrew and his girlfriend do what most people would do and dial for help. Here's the original phone call with the authorities. Tell me if you think it's real. And he's just like looking up at the window. He's been there for about 30 minutes now. Yeah, male, uh, maybe about, I don't know, maybe about 30, I guess. Uh, I can't tell. There's never an actual voice on the other end, which makes me suspect it could be staged, and I thought 911 operators were trained to stay on the line until police come. That's not what happens here. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's where most channels leave off, but this is actually just the beginning. What most people don't know is that there's another 911 phone call made by his girlfriend the very next night on May 4th to anyone who has ever worked in an emergency response. Tell me if this second phone call sounds legit or if they're just pretending to talk to someone. I'd really like you to do something about it. Yeah, my boyfriend already made a report. We're at on. Um, there's a parking lot behind our house. Yeah, 6.15. Okay. Thanks. Another night passes, and the figure returns, silent and wide-eyed as ever. Andrew gets upset enough to say something this time, and look what happens to the camera when he does. Hey. Hey. 
don't know what's going on. A red flash occurs at 58 seconds, a brief electronic disturbance possibly induced by an intensive wave of emotions, perhaps a telekinetic reaction to getting yelled at. I only say this because the exact same curious red flash happened six days later on May 12, except this time, their stalker is not even there. They simply sense him and then the flash appears. <gasps> He's not even there! Alright. And by June 17th, it's gotten to the point where Andrew's motion sensor camera keeps zooming in on a figure that simply isn't there. The equipment is having trouble focusing. In other words, on the very same spot where their not-so-secret admirer had stood for over a month straight. So is Andrew manually making it go out of focus, or is there an invisible phantom figure really standing there like he says? But I'm getting way ahead of myself by mentioning the events of June. That's a particularly bad month for them. And we still aren't done talking about May, May 8th to be exact, when they first started to suspect the perpetrator could be supernatural. Hey, look, he's throwing the window. His arms are at his sides, and yet something pings off the window. Fuck, I don't even see him throwing anything. Oh my god, how is he doing that? And sure enough, there's another odd flash at 1 minute and 6 seconds, like something's feeding off the peak of their fear, growing stronger. No longer is the Watcher satisfied with leering at them from the corner. He now wants inside. A full month of harassment accumulates in scrapes of paper, all saying the same word, hello. Apparently, this is some form of psychotic social interaction for whoever's doing this. A creepy game they are just beginning to play. Time only makes the man grow bolder. By June 20th, the tapping is all over their windows. It's the sound of someone's finger against glass and yet there's no silhouette to be seen. Either they are behind the couch tapping, or they're somehow making this noise from the alley outside. Left on the window is a picture of this creepy smiling face with X'd out eyes. Only someone who's really into the idea of tormenting two totally innocent people would bother drawing this let alone deliver it in person. Little does Andrew or his girlfriend know they are less than one day from seeing him up close for themselves. On June 22nd, there's more tapping, which is not even that unusual by this point. And so Andrew's girlfriend goes to the window thinking that no one is there. She throws open the blinds, still recording for evidence, and... Waiting for her is the Watcher himself, closer than he has ever been before. It's hard to see, but at 47 seconds he's holding an illustration of the same grisly face as before, X'd out eyes, this time with a message that says hello in the same handwriting as the scrap notes left by their door. I doubt he just wants to only say hello for much longer. Soon he will probably be saying goodbye to them, probably moments before he ends their lives. So if he's standing outside of the house in May, and outside of their window by June, then he will probably be standing somewhere inside their house by July. Thankfully, they managed to move out before my theory gets put to the test. Now, in a different location with iron bars, they finally feel safe for the first time in months, but their hopes of a peaceful life are shattered by the 1st of July, when a familiar figure slides in. Something's off about this extra blurry entrance. He doesn't walk into frame so much as simply materializes. And come to think of it, I've never actually seen him move before. Then when it's time to leave, he vanishes, leaving only a faint trace as he walks. It could be the camera, or it could be editing, or it could be an actual ghost, in which case this may have been the last video. But I doubt it was their final encounter. Facebook stalking is not uncommon. What happens when cyberstalking is taken to the next level? Christian Pratt knows. A college classmate at the University of Central Florida messaged her on Facebook. On the other side, Patrick Michonne, a cyberstalker that would soon become obsessed with her and likely scar her for life. At first, the contact seemed normal. 
He wanted to know what she was up to, how life and work was going. But after she replied, things soon took a turn. Patrick started messaging Pratt relentlessly on Twitter and Facebook, including one tweet that said, It is up to you now to save your life. I have no options. He called her 40 times in the span of five hours at one point. He made 27 videos about her that were thought to be lost. You don't want me for a life, Kristen Pratt? That's a very, very unwise decision. This obsession was torment to Pratt, and she did what she could to stop it. She changed her phone number, but he somehow found it and continued to harass her. She even tried to alter her appearance, but nothing worked. Short of reporting Patrick to the police, which she finally did, he was arrested and sentenced to four years behind bars, a much shorter sentence than Pratt received. She's been given a life sentence of fear and paranoia. She says she is constantly looking over her shoulder. Now I must quickly acknowledge that this sport is called football everywhere outside of North America. This ghost is a ball hog. Watch the soccer ball. While the first little twist is disturbing enough, the fact that the ball then loosies this Charlie Brown all on its own is even stranger. Those in the comments are wondering how, and I'm guessing it's either remote control activated or something is attached to the torn flap of the ball, which you can see here. Or you know, it could be a ball hogging ghost. I'd prefer that. This video was supposedly found on a deep web server under the file name EBE 1992 Iger. EBE is short for Extraterrestrial Biological Entity, and the uploader thinks Iger could be a mountaintop location in Switzerland. Obviously, 1992 refers to the year that this video was made. Anyway, what's especially odd is how the camera person moves around in a hurry as they record still photo after still photograph of the strange gray alien. I get the impression that they were recording classified evidence from an area that they did not belong in. Neutralizer Ghost is the name of a paranormal investigation channel in Indonesia that has some really creepy videos. Beyond the outskirts of town lies a ghost colony, and sometimes a paranormal entity or two will wander into some local houses to haunt. This one looks small and frail, bound tightly in burial garbs. It has sentience and follows the investigator's movements with its head. He talks to it for a little bit and seems to ask questions in the hopes that it will answer. <laughs> The mysterious figure never offers an explanation. They never seem to. He attempts to rip off its face covering and the spirit quickly disappears. He checks all around the area and no longer sees or senses it's near. The paranormal exploration continues for a while until he's convinced the town is clear. Maybe next time he'll get a hold of its robes and finally reveal the spirit figure's true face. In a frightening Twitter thread, Gregory88 shares a frankly freaky series of posts about an experience in the woods, including a video that has Twitter more than a bit concerned. Greg's thread begins on November 30th, 2018, where he claims to have seen something in the woods. He tweets, even though it might not be super safe to be out alone in the woods, it still feels better than being home all the time. He continues writing that he was walking in some woods that would be pretty if they didn't feel so creepy. Just when he was starting to feel at ease, he came across something strange in a clearing, but he only made it about 30 feet before he ran into something much creepier. He posts a picture of what he found. It appears to be an animal skull of some kind, mounted on a rock within a blackened triangle. Other smaller rocks are placed around the triangle and on the skull in some sort of ritualistic looking design. 
Greg writes that he discovered something new in the wilderness every day, but he isn't nearer to comprehending what's going on. He said he felt dizzy as he headed away from the rock towards his home, but again he didn't make it far before he ran into yet another fright. A hooded woman dressed in black hovering at a distance on a hillside looking at nothing. Greg says she didn't see him as he hid behind a tree. Apparently he'd seen her before in these woods, but it had been weeks since his last sighting. After she left the hillside and drifted off into the forest, Greg darted home. Fearing the whole while that she'd pop out and confront him, he asks the Twitter sphere if she's a witch. If not, what are these strange ritualistic displays? He also claims the video is proof that his imagination hadn't run wild. At this point, I just want answers, and I feel like I'm getting close to getting them, Greg writes. I'm just scared of what they might be. We're all pretty scared, Greg. We all are. If you're planning on going zip lining soon, don't watch this video. Captured in Wales in the UK, this video was published to YouTube by Stephen Bromley in September of 2018. The clip reveals many adventurers preparing for their exhilarating ziplining trip, and the zipline does indeed look fun for a while. That is, until Bromley's GoPro captures him starting to slide backwards. Eventually, he gets stuck hundreds of feet above the ground. Bromley explains what happened in the comments, writing, I was at the time 14 stone, and when I went over the cliff edge, a sudden gust of wind came up and slowed me quite a bit. My brother said it was the size of my head that caught the wind. LOL. Bromley also advises all concerns not to let this video put you off zip lining. He said it was a blast and the staff were very professional returning him to safety. When you visit an abandoned hospital, you don't expect this to happen. Redditor Bored Guy Online posted the scary video evidence that he captured in the ICU. Keep an eye at the end of the hall to the right. Something mysterious is going on here. Being that all hospitals are likely haunted, maybe these doors aren't malfunctioning after all. If that's the case though, who is opening and closing this ICU door? He can see us, but we can't see him. I think it's time to leave this abandoned hospital and stay far away. You wouldn't want anything following you home now. Barry is positive that a spirit is moving around stuff in his house, so he takes a random object, puts it in the middle of the floor. This cat toy is remote controlled, so he puts the controller next to the toy to show that he is not messing with it at all. Nothing happens until almost four minutes into the video. Okay. Then nothing else happens until another four minutes later when suddenly there's a second burst of movement. When it moves on its own a third time, Barry is confident that he has gathered enough evidence and stops recording. My only explanation is that Barry actually has two of these cat toys and was holding a second remote controller in his hands. However, you can just tell by looking at the controller that the big plastic buttons would probably make a loud clicking noise when pressed. Yet I never hear the button being pressed at all. Well, I think there is a good chance that this is real. Maybe Barry could record this again while showing himself in a mirror, just so we can see there is nothing in his hands. This paranormal investigator regularly observes the Savannah Theater. This is one of the first videos Redditor Background Ad 6785 captured there. Do you see the thing flying around? Look how much it slows down. Yeah. 
That's so insane. Why does it slow down so much? Some in the comments think it's dust or a moth. I do think both theories are likely, but I'd prefer to think there's something more mysterious happening at the Savannah Theater. Posted to the r slash chills narrator subreddit, redditor the cheese is moist writes, if I'm tripping then don't come at me in the comments, but is that star changing colors? In the video he zooms in on a star in the distance. The closer the zoom, the more clear it is that the star is rapidly changing colors. I've never seen a star ever do this before. Is it a satellite? Or is there something more nefarious at play here? October of 2017 is when a Canadian YouTuber named Moosey started to experience supernatural problems in his home that were far from normal. Things like spirit sightings and hearing voices. Something is in his house with him, something he can't see and wants gone. One afternoon, Moosey is playing a PS4 game with his brother when the television starts acting up in a way that's been happening far too often lately. And it's really weird, like, he's been telling me it's been happening all day. Somebody could have simply turned it off with a remote. His brother Joe isn't holding the remote, but maybe Moosey is. I don't think it was either one of them though, because it looks like somebody unplugged the television, even though they were both across the room. Guys, what the f This is what I'm seeing! Disconnected again! What's going on? And when you look again at 4 minutes and 23 seconds, you might be able to see the faintest orb go by his wrist. Since this was made in October, I was thinking maybe this was a Halloween video or something like that, but Moosey's paranormal problems continued well into November. That's when it moved into his room. He claims he can no longer sleep because it feels as if something is watching over him. Guys, I don't know what's going on. There's just something preventing me. At 1 minute and 30 seconds, there are bags under his eyes that were not visible in the previous video from a week ago, so I see no reason not to believe what he says. After days of no sleep, he now has a plan to cleanse the room. Moosey blends a special root with various household ingredients to make a powdery substance that is believed to keep spirits away. Interestingly enough, the sound on his camera cuts out and this orb appears just outside of his room, so perhaps there is some value in what he's about to do after all. I think it's interesting how the sound cuts off again here, almost like the spirits don't want to hear him finish what he has to say. Demons be gone. Or it could have just been a technical problem uploading the video to YouTube. Anyway, after completing the exorcism, he waits until 3am before declaring everything is okay. He didn't wait long enough though. This is what happens 5 minutes after 3am. Free me from all this- Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you guys hear that? I really wish he would have thrown open the door here, so we could have seen for ourselves what was on the other side. The fact that he waits for almost a full minute makes me wonder if this really was his nerves betraying him, or just stalling to give his friends time to get off camera. Nothing is in the other room, but if he wanted to prove beyond a doubt that his house was haunted, he should have swallowed his fear and opened the door a bit sooner. Easier said than done, I guess. Moosey did eventually move two years later. He and Hype Mike are giving a tour of their new house when it becomes apparent that his paranormal troubles are far from over. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Mike. Nick. Whoa! The knocking comes from behind him, yet no one is at the door. However, in the mirror stands a small hooded figure, or maybe it's just the top of Hype Mike's hat. When they check the camera, the picture becomes garbled by what I suspect is paranormal energy from the same ghost as before. It's found their new address and it wants in. At 8 minutes and 27 seconds, they catch a glimpse of someone running up the stairs. Then they see it in a different monitor right outside of their door before the screen goes white. And that's when what happens in Moosey's old house at 3am repeats itself. The door somehow locks even though they're on the side with a lock on it. So that's either paranormal or just an oversight in their skit, but I was kind of let down when they show it. 
I'm sorry, but I absolutely refuse to believe that this person in an all black spandex outfit is a ghost. So I'm not exactly buying this one, but it doesn't mean that the videos in his old house weren't real or that this wasn't a crazy fan who got their address. Did this news clip just capture a real life teleportation in action? Redditor Cat Daddy shared this clip that was captured on the news. Watch the background closely. Yes, okay. <laughs> Did you see it? The dude just blipped in out of nowhere. Yes, okay. <laughs> it truly looks like a portal just opened in the air and he walked through it. <laughs> Nothing is altered in the foreground or background to make me suspect that this clip was altered, but there are varied opinions in the comments. <laughs> Yes, okay. I agree with Joe Films. A morph transition can make it appear as though the speaker hasn't stopped talking, but elements in the background become distorted. In fact, Redditor Julian shares one of those elements. They didn't smooth out the reflections in the glass. Seen here. Although I think this mystery has been solved, I kind of wish it hadn't been. A YouTuber named Revo X encounters a wild pheasant in the graveyard that is not at all afraid. The colorful bird looks over its shoulder to make sure he is watching and then takes the lead, guiding him someplace quite important that I'll reveal in just a moment. It hops off the road and at 1 minute and 8 seconds walks this little beaten trail of matted grass. Have you ever seen anything like it before? that's been trampled over many times before. The determined little bird stops and circles back to the human, again showing absolutely no signs of fear. It even looks straight at him, at the end like it knows what is being said. There's my mum's grave, and it will remain, as it has done for the past few days, going round and round it. So is this a real spirit guide or just a pet? Some Native Americans believed pheasants to be a sign of protection and concealment because they like to bury themselves in tall grass, a creepy behavior when taken within the context of a graveyard. They can be tamed, but even if this is a pet, I don't think you can teach it to lead you somewhere for over a minute, and I never see it get a food treat as a reward or anything, so I think it's real. It's not too often that you watch a video that completely scares Here's you silly. Published to YouTube by RZ Flame in March of 2017, the uploader of our first clip believes what you're hearing is a ghost and what you'll soon see will prove it. The sounds are subtle at first. They don't even wake the lone man in the office who's sleeping on a chair in the corner of the room. Neither does the phone, which rings a couple times shortly after the noises start. He appears to wake slightly, but not enough to get up and answer the phone, and soon he's dozing again. When the phone rings yet again, he finally rises to answer it, before returning to his computer and getting back to work. That's when a chair in the opposite corner of the room spins full circle on its own. This catches the worker's attention briefly, but he shrugs it off and returns to his assignment. A moment later, a water bottle falls from the edge of a desk. At this point, the office worker stands up to gauge what's going on. That's when the poltergeist really has some fun, throwing a chair onto its back in the middle of the office. This activity seems to be the last straw. The man screams and races from the room. That's some good judgment on his part. There's a good reason why this creepy kid's bike has been relegated to the roof. It is only supposed to play this lullaby for a minute, but so far it's been a half hour and counting. Hi, 30 in India here, and this is so freaking haunted. Nope. Hey. No. Stop it! The voice soon changes to a more sinister tone, and I think I can almost hear other voices coming out of it too. I'm running away. What the f is that? 
Oh, what? The Queensland Police Service in Australia released this seriously scary video on their Facebook page. Wrapped firmly around this poor person's leg is the last thing anyone wants, a large snake. They seem to be employing some kind of tickling strategy that I doubt is going to make it relax. Wiggling my fingers as fast as possible around a snake seems like a terrible move, but I'm also no snake expert. I am absolutely amazed at how calm the snake remains as the officer puts her hands close to its head and unwraps it from this leg. I was assuming it was domesticated until the officer was later told it was wild. Someone tell me what kind of snake this was and why it didn't seem to care about being handled for the first time. Maybe it was simply looking for a warm spot to coil up for the night, or maybe it was someone else's escaped pet on the loose. I have Al Kasimia of a ghost hunting channel called The Horror. The Horror is looking for a phantom figure said to haunt this building in Israel, a ghost who is apparently quite eager to be caught on camera. He keeps hearing a sink drip even though no water is coming from the faucet because no water runs to the building. The ghost hunter also detects small movements in windowless rooms that are devoid of all life. That's when something inside of him says that trouble is near, that he needs to check out the window. A mysterious and shadowy figure is caught on camera, an apparition capable of powerful acts. Based on what happens next, the ghost hunter knows he's been marked by the jinn, but there is no time to get out of the way as the spirit seemingly teleports inside. The featureless shadow figure peers around the corner and the brave ghost hunter gives chase. When he rounds the corner, all traces of the paranormal entity are gone. If this is not paranormal, then I wonder how the ghost was able to disappear within seconds. There are no editing cuts that I can see. At a once bustling market turned ghost town in China, this lone figure was captured on camera. Published by Paranormal Planet in February of 2020, the video shows a mysterious fog shadow moving into view. As Chinese lanterns hang all around, swaying with the wind, the figure moves across the walkway before it disappears from sight. The uploader writes, This footage was spotted by the person responsible for monitoring the street cameras. Is this a ghost? Or has the Grim Reaper come for us all? Filmed at the Holy Love Apparition site, the video shows two statues in a field backlit by the sun. Those getting the footage get closer to the statues. In the close-up, the statue's eyes appear to be blinking. While it could be an effect on the sunlight, it looks like the statue is legitimately opening and closing its eyes. Of course, there are some believers in the comments, and then there are some doubting the whole incident as well. So YouTubers, is this a miracle or just an optical illusion? This video is from a camping trip that Emery Buckner and his friends took back in 2010. After introducing each of his friends by name, something catches Emery's eye. He zooms in on a small clearing in the woods that's just up ahead, and that's when he sees it for the first time. That's what is that? I think it is. Yeah, I think it's, 
What's what, brother? Seriously, guys. There's some, I, really, I seriously saw something over there. Tom. None of his friends managed to see it, but Emery encourages them to stay still and keep looking. Then, sure enough, the red glowing eyes return. Guys? What? Oh my gosh. What is that? that dude, oh my that's God. it. That's it. I t oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Uh, oh my gosh. What is it? They waste little time retreating to their boat and speed away to safety. But just before they take off, Emery catches the creature a final time. It's now casually observing the group. While perched in a tree, its head cocked to the side, its faint outline barely visible behind a pair of glowing red eyes. You may think you're alone, but are you really? Posted to TikTok by Tayasha, this one is bound to give you the heebie-jeebies. On what looks to be a stormy night, the TikToker is walking around an abandoned building when she spots this in the window. The dark-haired figure appears ghoulish, staring out at the passerby. What do you think this mystery figure wants, and who is it waiting for? This has either got to be the paranormal or a very elaborate hoax. There's simply no in-between. What goes up must come down. Posted by V Fieldson on TikTok, as Fieldson walks beside a house, capturing a bicycle lying in the middle of the sidewalk. He pulls the shot upright, catching the roof of the house in frame. Someone is up there watching him. The watcher appears to be filming him too. At least he seems to be holding something with a light on. He rushes from view and darkness envelopes him. Of course, this is TikTok, so that's where the clip ends. However, as we know, what goes up must come down. After all, he's got to come down from that rooftop eventually. While investigating the ancient Ram Inn, YouTuber After Dark Paranormal captured what they believe is paranormal activity. Watch the creepy doll sitting atop the Ouija board. Is it our Ouija board you like? Or is it the doll? Or is it one of us? <laughs> the doll appears to answer dramatically. The sensory device starts flashing at the same time the doll starts to fall. Although this could be paranormal activity, the doll appears to me to be sitting precariously on the board. The tumble it takes looks like it could have been natural. The team says they tried to replicate it but couldn't. They spent over an hour trying to do so, including kicking and pushing the solid oak barrel. So I'm on the fence with this one. What do you think? YouTuber Eder Hernandez and his crew are about to enter the Devil's Cave and what they will witness here may change them forever. The guys seem rattled as they approach the cave, and you'll see they have reason to be. Let's take another look at what they saw. It looks like a faceless being. As they rush away through the jungle, they catch another creature in their purview. Did you see that? Here it is again, slowly this time. There is definitely a figure standing there, but is it the devil? A third capture seems to blur the lines even more. What are these figures? I'm not sure if they're demons, skinwalkers, or the devil himself, but whatever they are, I know I don't want to get a closer look. A series of unfortunate events leads us to no answers in this video. The security footage was taken in September of 2015 at around 1 in the morning. The footage appears to be taken outside a shop after some heavy rain. Two men are standing outside, one on the pavement, one at the door. After 
After a moment, something grabs the man standing on the pavement. Water is splashing around like the incident is happening in a puddle. The man falls to the ground and the other man near the door attempts to come to his aid, grabbing his arms. He is pushed back though and runs off toward the door to get help. The man continues to fend off the invisible force before being dragged out of sight. The man returns from inside, looking as though he's on the phone. He searches around for the man and walks toward the water. Then a large figure comes flying at him. It's not clear if it's the man returning to safety or something else. In slow motion, it looks like it's crawling on all fours. It chases the man inside, knocking the door on the way in. A moment later, a mysterious figure in a black cloak exits the building. What is happening here? Who grabbed that man? What gave Chase into the building? And who is this cloaked figure? Unfortunately, we are left with no answers, only questions. Dark Mystic is the name of a paranormal YouTuber in Russia who intends on exploring an abandoned cottage home in the middle of some pretty scary woods late at night. He wants to determine what kind of paranormal entities haunt this abandoned building, and he's certain he's caught creepy things on camera. He finds a room with half the walls covered in newspaper clippings. They look to have been carefully cut out and are not overlapping, which to me means they were meant to be read instead of part of a remodeling project or something like that. If you speak Russian, what do these headlines say? I can't help but suspect this is a trophy room and someone is proud of making the news. <laughs> He hears somebody cough, but nothing is there. It's creepy, but the paranormal activity really picks up when he goes exploring the haunted attic. He keeps hearing objects getting thrown around, dropped, or otherwise moving on their own. When Dark Mystic goes to check what they are, something moves into the doorway as if rolled into place by a ghostly hand. Dark Mystic is certain that something paranormal is toying with him and arms himself. He may be right, but I'm not sure what use a blunt force instrument would be on something not of this world, a being made of shadows that peeks at him from around the door. The next time you look into your baby monitor, you might find an unnerving guardian angel. That's what happened to a friend of XXBlazeNXX who posted this clip to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The redditor writes in the comments, A friend of mine had recently put her child to bed, and she has gone through every single thought of how to justify this figure, but it looks like a little child walking in and around the crib. By the time log on the baby monitor, you can see it's around 9.40pm, and if you look closely, you'll catch a ghost white shadow figure walk around the back of the crib as the baby sleeps on. The figure creeps around one side of the crib before pacing back to the head of the crib and coming slightly around the other side. Then it moves back. At the end of the clip, it appears most visible, leaving its sentient spot, probably in order to make itself a sandwich. What was this phantom caretaker doing? Do you think it's a friendly guardian? Or does the babysitter have evil intent? Whatever the case, safeguard that baby. It's better to be safe than sorry. This girl sleepwalking? Or is something else going on here? Shared by YouTube channel Doc Tops and originally posted by TikToker Jay Barari, this scary video is trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. A girl is seen standing upright on her bed, staring blankly forward and swaying slightly. After a time, the girl's mother enters the room and carries her out, but the girl is still staring fixedly at something.
Well, some in the comments presume the girl was simply sleepwalking. I'm not so sure that's what's happening here. I think there's something evil in this house, and it's only a matter of time until it possesses her, if it hasn't already. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.